This video is about my new favorite firewall here at SonicWall, the NSA2700, which is replacing my future X favorite firewall, the NSA2650. As pretty much all my firewall overview videos, we will look at my new love on every single angle, then we will talk about sizing, we'll talk about performance, we'll compare that new firewall with its predecessor, we will look briefly at the new Sonic OS 7 and we will talk about configuration migration. Hi, I'm Jean-Pierre Talbot, SE for SonicWall in Canada, helping customer and reseller get the most out of their network security solutions. If you're new here, please make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. And all the links to the content I'll mention will be in the description box down below, so let's get started. So you may wonder why the 2650 is, or was, my favorite firewall. Well, the reason is simple. I love its target customer and how well the 2650 was serving them. Many times I had conversation with customers that were in the line of, hey JP, we have 70 users right now. Management believe we will double the business in the next three years from now. So I need a firewall that can grow and scale with us for the next three to maybe four years without breaking today's bank and I need something that is robust and redundant because well it just cannot go down so the 2650 was just perfect in every single way first because it can scale a lot it was usually recommended from 50 to 150 users and I even saw people pushing it over 200 users so it really allowed a lot of room for growth and it was also the first firewall in our, in our lineup to be able to have two power supply for redundancy. It was the first one with SFP ports in the lineup as well. And just like any HA at SonicWall, you could have two firewall in HA without increasing your yearly, yearly renewal cost. So it was just a terrific unit. And now it's time to welcome its replacement, the NSA 2700. Replacing such an important firewall in SonicWall lineup can leave its successor with big shoes to fill, and the NSA 2700 delivers. And quite frankly, it goes beyond expectation in some areas. So let's have a look at both firewalls side by side. So here we do have both NSA 2650 at the bottom and on the top the new 2700. Port-wise, as you can see, they both have 16 1 gig ports and they also have SFPs. The big difference is the 2700 has three SFPs compared to four to the 2650. But the big difference is the 2700 SFPs are 10 gig instead of 2.5 gig for the 2650. So that is a huge improvement. If you can see also on this side, we do have the same management port, the same console, and the same two USB ports. On the back, we do have on both unit, here I just have the 2700 that we see, but both have two power supply. And now what everybody wants to see, the specs. So let's have a look. Here, as you can see, the firewall throughput, which is all security services off, you can do 5.5 gigabit of throughput. And if you turn everything on, then you get with 3 gig of throughput, which is quite a jump compared to the previous firewall, which we will see in a minute. And last point I want to touch on is DPI SSL, which is every single security services all turn on all at the same time purely on HTTPS traffic where we decrypt everything, inspect and re-encrypt it, which will give you 800 megabit of throughput. And remember when I was saying it's beyond expectation in some areas? Now let's compare the 2700 with its predecessor, the 2650, as well as its big brothers, the 20, the 3650, 4650 and 6650. So if we look at firewall performance, which is again, all security services off, the 2700 perform almost as fast as the 4650. Then if we look at IPS throughput, the 2700 give us the exact same performance as the big 5650. Then threat protection throughput, this is security with all security services all turned on. The NSA 2700 can do three gig, which is pretty much in the middle of the 4650 and the 5650. And where it really exceed and go way beyond expectation is on maximum DPI SSL connection. It can do half a million connection, which is nowhere near what the 5650 can do. 
With such crazy performance numbers, I would personally recommend the NSA 2700 starting 50 users and you can push it to 200, maybe even 250 users. Of course, there is way more that get involved into sizing. This is just my own personal rule of thumb. If you're unsure about sizing and have questions, by all means, give us a call. We're here to help. The NSA 2700 is part of the seventh generation of firewall from SonicWall, which means it run Sonic OS 7, which is a brand new firmware, Linux based, built from the ground up. I personally like it very much. Menus have a nice look and I feel everything is well placed. I mean, every time I'm looking for something, it is exactly where I expect it to be. Things are easy to find. And the UI also communicate much more about what's going on through the main dashboard. It tells you about your traffic, what people do, what app they use, and also tells you what have been blocked. You can click on things, you can drill down, I love it. And also, those that are using other SonicWall product, like our work from home appliance or our Office 365 security solution, will see that the look and feel is pretty much the same. That's because SonicWall did put a great amount of effort in making management easy across its product line. And finally, SonicWall has revamped its configuration migration tool. So if you want to migrate configuration from any Gen 6 firewall, like a TZ400, a 2650, or maybe even a 6600, you want to migrate that configuration to the 2700, I would strongly advise to use the configuration migration tool, simply because the source firewall, like, I don't know, a 6650, may have more ports than the 2700. So the migration tool will just make sure that everything flows right in and it just works well. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked that video and see you in the next one. Thanks.